The 78th session of the United Nations General Assembly opened against a backdrop of a world facing a host of geopolitical, economic and humanitarian crises. In his opening remarks, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres reiterated calls for a more modern UN, urging nations to unite, saying our world needs statesmanship, not gamesmanship and gridlock. The world has changed. Our institutions have not. We cannot effectively address problems as they are if institutions do not reflect the world as it is. The theme of the general debate this year was rebuilding trust and reigniting global solidarity, accelerating action on the 2030 Agenda and its sustainable development goals with the aim of generating greater peace, prosperity, progress and sustainability for all. The conflict in Ukraine was high on the agenda. U.S. President Joe Biden made his case that the world must stand behind Ukraine, saying, quote, if we allow Ukraine to be carved up, is the independence of any nation secure? Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky appeared in person and accused Russia of weaponizing everything from food to energy. Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov forcefully denounced the U.S. and the West, saying they fuel conflict instead of promoting a true world order, but he barely mentioned Ukraine. Chinese Vice President Han Zheng made clear to the Assembly that a ceasefire and peace talks are the only way forward to end Russia-Ukraine tensions. On foreign policy, the Vice President said China is committed to opening up itself wider to the world, but insisted on China's commitment to safeguarding its sovereign control. On Taiwan, he said that the island, quote, has been an inalienable part of China's territory since ancient times. Han also called for global governance to be more just and equitable. Both the U.S. and China avoided harsh criticism of one another at a time of rising tensions. Biden said the U.S. seeks to manage competition between the two nations and avoid conflict. We are for de-risking, not decoupling with China. Climate was another major area of discussion as the world faced record-shattering heat, massive floods and raging wildfires this summer. Colombia's president warning that the climate crisis has exacerbated the number of climate refugees. He warned their numbers could reach 3 billion in the next 50 years. As this year's session concludes, it remains to be seen how many of the goals and pledges member nations follow through on. That is, many worry whether the United Nations still holds the same cachet it once did in an ever more fragmented world. Karina Mitchell, CGTN, New York.